come to our channel. In the previous session, we had discussed Lex tool. Under Lex tool, what is the use of Lex tool? And the Lex tool. Welcome to our channel. In the previous session, we had discussed the concept of Lex tool. The mainly Lex tool is used for generating lexical analyzer. So, in the previous session, we had discussed how to generate a lexical analyzer. After that, what is the file format of lexical analyzer? That means simply a structure of Lex program. The Lex program mainly contains three sections. One is declaration section. Second one is the transition rules. Third one is auxiliary functions. So we discussed all these concepts in the previous session. Now in this session, we will discuss the same thing with an example. What is my example? You have to create a Lex program such that the program has to recognize identifiers, keywords, relational operators and then numbers. Okay. We will try to write the program. What is my first step? Now my first step is a declaration section. In this, the variables, constants and regular expressions. Everything is declared. Everything is declared in the declaration section. Except to regular expression, for remaining all the things, they are enclosed between percentage flower bracket and then closes with also percentage flower bracket. Suppose for this example, I do not need any variable. Simply I will try to write a comment. So this is the way. This is a sample program. Any message. This is a sample program to recognize the tokens, whatever it is. Here simply I am writing a comment and then close. This is the declaration part. Remember the declaration part is not at all completed. If you need any regular expressions, you can write down the regular expressions also. So, for example, I will write down the regular expressions for identifier. Before that, you have to know. Letter A to Z, A to Z. This is the letter. Digit in the sense 0 to 9. These are the digits. By using letter and digits, we form an identifier. Simply identifier in the sense, the first one is letter followed by any number of letters or digits that is 0 or more number of letters or digits this is the regular expression for identifier regular expression for identifier if you need any regular expressions keywords we are not writing any regular expression relational operator we are not writing anything numbers so we can write the regular expressions for numbers Remember, how do you consider this regular expression for numbers is already discussed in recognition of tokens. Okay. So, based on that one, we are directly providing the regular expression digit, digit plus followed by any number of digits, either 0 or 1 occurrence, followed by E, followed by E plus minus question mark digit plus question mark simply followed by digit plus followed by digit plus each and every case the same thing okay so this one remove this one yes, this is the way now the regular expressions are completed this entire thing is called declaration section. This entire thing is called declaration section. That is section number one. After completion of declaration section, at this point, you have to write transition section. That means the transition rules. So, for space convenience, I am erasing this one. See this one, regular expressions not at all enclosed within these symbols. So, after completion of the first section, I try to move the second section. What is the second section? The transition rules. So, what are the transition rules? How do you specify? Simply, percentage, percentage. The transition rule contains two things. The first one is a pattern, space, action. Suppose ID. This is a pattern. 
action is any C statement, action is any C statement, space, suppose here I am printing some statement, printf, percentage yes, is an identifier, I am printing the message like this, percentage yes, is an identifier, so yy text, this is the predefined keyword in Lexi program, to define the name of the token, for example if I am given id as Raju, so here what happens that id is placed in yy text, so instead of percentages Raju is an identifier, they are declaring like this id, so along with the id if you have anything, suppose keyword, assume int, here also you can type the message like this, either int or simple if, printf, Percentage yes is a keyword. Percentage yes is a keyword. YY text. Close the brackets. That means this is the pattern. This is the action for identifier. If here you can write anything. If who else who I do do well. Here you can write any number of keywords. Any number of keywords. And the relational operator. For example less than or equal to. For simplicity, I am writing one or two. Here also the action is simply printf percentage s is a relational operator, comma yy text, comma yy text like this. So less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, less than, equal to, not equal to for all the relational operators. So write down the corresponding actions. Write down the corresponding actions. So finally, numbers. So finally, numbers simply numbers here here remember here this is can be specified in flower brackets also this is an optional statement if you want you can specify in the flower brackets otherwise no need to provide in the flower brackets printf percentage s is a number remember even though number is an integer or float but represented in string format only yy text and close this transition rules. Here you can write any number of keywords, any number of operators and this one. So identify these recognized, keywords are recognized, relational operators are recognized, numbers are recognized. This is the transition rule. After completion of the transition rules, if you have any auxiliary functions, if you have any auxiliary functions, you can write down the auxiliary functions. So, for this example, we doesn't have any function. So, simply close this one. This is the way to recognize different types of tokens by using Lex tool. Thank you.